Hi, this is Eliza with PsychicYoga.org, and thanks for tuning into Eliza Talks Tarot. Uh, this is Adonis, my little dog. Today, before we begin our weekly reading, I'd like to discuss a little bit about the court cards. They are pages, knights, queens, and kings. Now, each of the court cards is associated with an element. For example, the Page of Cups is associated with relationships. So you're about to embark on a new relationship. Um, the Knight of Swords is someone who is um, thinking about embarking on something. And the Queen of Wands is a doer. She's very action motivated. She's very good at everything. And the King of Cups can be someone who is very compassionate. So the court cards represent people in your circle. Um, the pages can also represent you starting something new. Normally it's somebody young in your circle, but it can also represent something new you're about to embark on. So stay tuned for a weekly reading. Welcome back. So this is a weekly reading for April 26th to May 3rd. We are using the Witch's Tarot and hopefully we're going to get some court cards. So the first thing you do is you shuffle your cards you ask your question, what does this week bring for me? Break, repeat the question, what does this week bring for me? Okay, now the first card you have is in reverse. This is for Monday and Tuesday, and it is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this is saying that in the beginning of the week, you may feel like you're not really that centered. And you're also concerned about money. Another thing this is representing also that you may be too worried and not really taking a practical approach to something. The pentacles are ruled by Capricorn and Capricorn is all about taking a practical approach. Your Wednesday and Thursday is the magician, also reversed. Now this represents uh, a feeling of being manipulated. Uh, this also represents the magician uh, that you don't you're not really taking control of your destiny. It is also ruled by the planet Mercury, which is the planet of speed and communication. So things you may start to feel have uh, considerably slowed down and you may uh, feel like you're not communicating with someone who you should be communicating with. So uh, that is a cause for concern. And I'm also seeing uh, towards your uh, Friday, the uh, Nine of Cups, which is also reversed, which means this is ruled by Cancer, and it's just saying uh, you're feeling right now like you're running out of certain options and that your energy is very low. So you kind of have to step back when uh, Friday appears and review everything. Ah, court card, awesome. Towards the end of the week, we have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone in your life who is really uh, good at giving advice. This is not always someone who is very compassionate. She can be actually someone who can be rather cold and even um, at times feel harsh. But this person is someone who is very intellectual very smart and someone who has your best interest. So what this is saying is towards Saturday and Sunday, 
You may want to seek out the advice or the wisdom of someone who can actually guide you. So, um, reviewing everything, you have your Monday and Tuesday, the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. You're not really feeling grounded. You're not really feeling centered and you're over analyzing and over worried um, about something, work, money, something having to do with earth because pentacles are all about this planet, planet earth. So something that has to do with uh, a practical side and you're not really taking that practical approach. You're you're over worried, you're over stressed, which takes you to Wednesday and Thursday, magician being in reverse. Oh my God, now you're feeling, uh, are you being manipulated? You're not hearing from the people that you need to. You're not um, taking the tools that you need to take your life in the direction that it should be. So that's causing you monumental stress, which brings you um, to Friday. Uh, and Friday is the uh, cups, the nine of cups reversed, which is saying you're feeling what options are left for you. Your energy has become quite drained. And finally, the Saturday and Sunday, you have the queen of swords. You seek out the guidance, the wisdom of someone who is within your circle. This could actually be like a mother or uh, a counselor, someone who you know very well, who is very, very wise and good at giving advice and helping you out. And that person will help you find the resolution that you need. So your week start, starts out kind of bumpy, but you find the answers you need when you seek out the help from the Queen of Swords. And that's how the court cards represent the people in our life. Thank you for joining me for these readings. My name is Eliza. The site is psychicyoga.org. If you enjoyed these readings, please click below where it says subscribe, click like, and share this with your friends. Post a comment. I respond to all comments. Thank you again and namaste.